Hello, it's Polish Paul VR. Welcome to the channel. I hope you all are right and having a good day. Today we are here to talk about Alvo. Finally, after all the years of waiting, I've had a chance to play this game. So I'm gonna give you my impressions of the beta. Now, little disclaimer, I cannot show you any footage, I have to sign NDA, uh, which is non-disclosure agreement, in order to play the beta. So the footage and everything cannot be showed yet until the developer says, uh, yes, okay, you can do it now, go, do it, go, play. But anyway, I am allowed to tell you what it was like to play Alvo, which hopefully will release soon. Now, regarding the beta, this is a closed beta. Some of you who's been on the Discord and applied for it might already play it. If not, don't worry, they're gonna do second stage of the beta, there might be even third stage and maybe an open beta, who knows. But anyway, let me just tell you all about it. But while talking about it, I'll be showing you the footage from the trailer because that's the only footage I'm allowed to show. Anyway, let's maybe just talk about it the way I was playing it, which is basically I've got first into the menu. Now, in the menu, they do their job, tons and tons of options. You can customize your loadouts, you can customize your looks, you can customize your uh, comfort settings. So you can have your click turning and blinders or you can just switch everything totally off. Of course, you get to choose which controllers you want to play with. I only played with M, co M controller, which by the way, it's great. But also you can play with move controllers and you can play with DualShock. I didn't have a chance to test those two, but apparently I heard that the moves are pretty cool in this game. So we're just gonna have to see how this gonna work. But anyway, once you go through this menu, it's not the, let's say, the best look in the prettiest of the menus, but it does its jobs perfectly fine. Uh, also, the character model, <laughs> when you're gonna first see it, don't be like surprised, it's not the firewall level. But also, once you play the game, all the character models and everything looks just fine. So anyway, so I did that, went through the menu and then I was dropped into the game and the only game I, uh, the only game mode that is available as of now is free for all. Of course, there's gonna be different game modes like Team Deathmatch, but anyway, first of all, I was surprised how nice the networking working in this game and their servers. So if there's nobody like the servers not getting properly filled up, uh, then the uh, real people gonna be replaced with bots until somebody joins the game. So if you're thinking about waiting in lobby, uh, there is none, nothing. You just going into the game. Now at one point I have to leave the game and come back to it and had no problems at all. Everyone kept on playing. I just left the game, you know, left the match and then just jumped back into it and everything works super fine and super fast. So yeah, that was very nice. Let's say, you know what, surprise. In many VR games, sometimes you're spending a lot of time sitting in the lobby. But anyway, so that was that. Now let's speak about the match and the controls. Like I said, I only played using the aim controller, but also I personally think aim controller is best controllers out of, out, best controller out of all the virtual reality controllers be it PC VR or PlayStation VR Quest, whatever, the aim for shooting games, it's just made for it and it feels great. Also, you can set up your weapon offset in the menu if you want, I didn't have to do it, mine perfectly fine align, but if you want, you can raise it up a bit, you know, so for the tracking, so you're not obstructing your view, uh, you know, the lights from the headset, but anyway, you know what, I had no problems with the tracking using aim controller. Now, the match itself, the speed of this game, that's what I love about it the most. And I've got feeling that free for all will be my favorite game mode anyway, but like I said, there will be other ones as well. But nevertheless, this is probably fastest shootest shooter you're gonna play in virtual reality. There's quite a lot of them now, you know, on PlayStation VR, uh, maybe not that many, but on PC VR as well, but this one is fast. And what's cool about it is you can jump around as well, so this jump button works great, because I love the fact that at one point in the match I've been running around, jump through the window inside the building and shoot somebody, and in VR that just felt, felt great. Uh, I would wish that there was sliding button, maybe they're gonna add it, maybe they don't, I don't know. So also while you're playing the reloading was done by a press of the button or when I run out of bullets the dude just been reloading it. Uh, but with aim that works fine. I'm thinking it's gonna be same with moves for parity, I'm not sure. But anyway, also what you've got, you've got some extra special weapons. So I've got some dogs running, <laughs> chasing after me. 
Also I've had drone skill in me, you saw it all in the trailer, it works fine in the game. And also you got grenades, uh, which you can throw and then just they just kill loads of people. Now, speaking about the maps, they look very nice. The game surprised me uh, by, I was expecting like kind of indie level type of graphics. So, you know, all right graphics, but nothing special. I would say this is more of something what you could see maybe from like a bigger game studio. I'm not saying the graphics are on firewall level, but also I'm not saying they are on this indie game wall uh, gra graphics level. They somewhere there in between, uh, definitely better than I expected. And also what I like about the maps is the fact that you can pretty much jump on top of everything, go inside every building and also how big they are. They are quite large. So you're running around, finding people, shooting them. Uh, you've got headshots, that's I like as well. They do make true difference. So yeah, you've got like hitboxes. It shows you where you shot it. At shot it. Is that the word? Shoot at someone. So yeah, aiming for the head is always the best. And it's nice to see that this feature, even though it's pretty much given in many games, in VR sometimes they're not implementing it properly. But in here it was, and it was nice. Also, what it was nice when it comes to gameplay and shooting was the collision detection between the gun and walls and windows. So there will be no uh, way that you're gonna stick your gun through the wall, that's gonna be impossible. But what's cool as well is it reacts everything to the uh, nicely to everything in the environment. So you can get this proper feeling like resti resting your gun on the ledge of the wall. <laughs> and that was pretty cool as well. So all in all, I really had a lot of fun with Alvo. And what I think, just to summarize, I do not want to talk about any books just yet or anything, because of course it's a beta, very early beta, so there's a lot of things they're gonna fix. But what I like is a uh, uh, very, very encouraging signals I'm getting from this game that this is going to be big and also it's going to be super fun. So yeah, this is the shooter. Maybe we've been waiting for a long time for something like that. You know, your fast paced, uh, proper uh, VR shooter. It looks like the developer said, uh, sc screw the, all the rules of VR, let's chuck it out of the window and just do fast game when you can proper run around fast, jump through the windows and fight with people that way. And you know what? It just works a treat. So, of course, stay tuned to the channel for the more coverage of Alvo. Once I am allowed to show you some footage and stuff like that, I will definitely do it straight away. But as of now, from this early beta, what I just played, I must say I really enjoyed it a lot. Uh, probably the more than I expected. And even though it's not coming from the some sort of big studio with big money backing them, Definitely it looks better than it should and definitely it plays super good as well. Okay, anyway, if you like what you're seeing, then please press a like because it does helps the channel a lot. And if you're new to the channel and are not subscribed, then subscribe. It's always better when it's more of us. And that's it, bye.